So the new game Metal Gear Survive was released recently and I found it quite difficult to get myself going. So I thought I'd make you a how to video on how to manage your base camp, your crew and deployment. Please don't forget if you're new, smash the like button and subscribe and let me know in the comment section how you're enjoying this game. I'm really curious to see what people think of it. So basically the, the conclusion of this video will be how to keep your base running smoothly because obviously you need to make sure that you have everything going according to plan so you can actually level up and keep yourself alive because you have to be very considerate towards your health, your thirst and your food whilst playing this game. So I'll kick it off and I'll talk to you about collecting crew members. Uh, so you can do this at the start of missions, you'll get one quite early on where you have to collect a nurse, but as you go on you get given more time to collect different crew members and eventually you can have your own mini army. So you'll get given distress signals which you can go after and they'll, they'll be given side missions and they'll be shown as green circles on your map. So when you move into the mission space, you'll find a person or a soldier with question marks above their name and if you clear the enemies around them, throw them on your back and run towards the nearest like, teleport device that you have, take them back to your base, put them down and there you go, they're there to stay. But if you are in the dust too long, the survivors will suffocate and die, so keep an eye on that health bar because I made this mistake while rescuing the nurse, I forgot that obviously they don't have an oxygen mask on, so even if they're not getting hit, they're dying just simply because when the dust is going in their lungs it's killing them so they don't have anything to breathe properly with so you need to get them out of there as quick as you can as soon as you find them so don't dilly dally them around another thing is once you've got them back to your base you need to know where to employ your troops so when you go onto the crew management section obviously as you level up further and the further you get into the game you'll have more different places that you can put them so you can funnel them into many different jobs and i've got six of them here so you've got your development team your food supply team your medical team base development team base defense team and exploration team now most of them are quite self-explanatory obviously exploration they'll go out and look for things for you base defense to defend from attackers and you're probably thinking i haven't been attacked yet when you activate certain wormholes in your base's missions, you get attacked by a lot of wanderers, so you're going to need people to help defend. You've got your base development, they're basically tend your crops and build things for you. You've got your medical team, which is quite self-explanatory, they're medical people. Food supply team, again, self-explanatory, and your development team, which are very close to the base development team, they do quite the same thing. Unfortunately, this is where they start to get tedious because aside from your story, it's impossible to tell where you should place your new recruits without the trial and error. So you have to kind of work out where their best traits are because they have moods and they have to be in a good mood to work well. So when you have your non-story crew members and begin placing them in any of the jobs, Look just above their life bar and see their stats to see what their notes are saying. This will tell you how that the crew member will perform in that role so you know where you need to put them. I'll give you a couple of examples. If they have low ambition, they will not perform very well. So you need to make sure you move them to a place where their ambition will go up. And then if, you have, if they're working well, it will say while not gong ho would yield mo modest results. So that just means they would, they're would they going to perform better in the area you've put them in. And then you've got your story crew members where you have Dan, development team, Nicholas, food supply, Miranda, medical team, and Reeve in the base defense or exploration. So then four people there, you'll get, you have to rescue them as part of a mission in the story to progress further. So there you go, you can refer to that if you want to know where you can put them in a good place. You also need to make sure that your crew is healthy, fed, and hydrated, because if they're not, they're also not gonna perform well and they'll die. So to keep them moving and keep them ticking, you need to provide them with food, water and medical supplies. As you progress further into the story, you'll gain access to farms and water tanks, which I've got, so they can go and take the water and stuff they need. They will collect shared resources, meaning they nourish your troops. And obviously, the more crew members you have, the more resources that you need to get. So building farms can be expensive and difficult, but... If you have access to food that you want to give your troops, you can build up a mutualization facility for food, uh, drink and medical supplies. So you could dump what you don't need into a shared resource pool so your crew members can take it. Periodically, the game will alert you regarding this, the status of your base in the information report. And uh, you, can, you need to watch these numbers and keep an eye on your base camp status by looking into Virgil 89's menu. And um, while the base management is somewhat optional, you need to pay enough attention to keep your small crew alive because they help you function and they make it a lot easier for you to get around so you don't have to worry about collecting food because they'll do it for you. So all you've got to do is go out and progress your story. 
Uh, you can also send your crew members out on a hunt mission, which, you know, it is helpful. So you can assign them to, uh, you can assign them to certain gigs. And they go into a pool that you can assign at the exploration team ready room tent. Uh, once you're in a menu, you'll be asked to assign your soldiers to a team. And if you aren't interested in buying extra teams using the SV coins you get given, pick up the alpha unit and move on. Place your four soldiers into the alpha unit. And each shoulder comes with a combat score, so you need to move soldiers in and out of the tab until you get the highest combat numbers. Obviously, the higher the combat number, the better and the more successful your crew will be. So you can also up their survival, so obviously they su they're more likely to survive. You can also raise their combat stats by giving away the weapons and the armor that you have. So you also need to consider that if you're getting your crew to go out, you're going to have to supply them with weapons and everything else. And each mission that you send them on comes with a specific requirement in terms of survival and combat effectiveness. So once your crew is all geared up, you can start looking for a mission, but obviously the missions have different difficulties. So tougher missions are in red and look for supplies you need. So if you need wood, make sure you find a mission which will give you wood as a result. But you need to make sure your odds of success are like above satisfactory and then you can send your team out. So after real time passes, so in real life, not the game, the unit will come back with some resources. However, they may need medical attention because they've just been out fighting. So be sure to care for them in the crew management section before sending them back out because you know, they're not going to be too pleased if they break a leg and you're sending them back out again. So this was just a quick how-to guide on how to manage your base, your camp and your crew and all the deployment. So please don't forget, subscribe and leave a like because I'm curious. I want to know what people think of this game because I'm a bit iffy on it at the moment. So please let me know in the comment section down below and I'm more than happy to help you out if you need anything. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video.